And let's now turn attention back to that sad development of the last four hours or so. The uh, President Bola Tunubu shares, um, says he shares in the pain of loss with the family, friends and congregants of the Fountain of Life Church over the passing of the senior pastor Taiwo Udukoya at 67. President Tumu sends his heartfelt condolences to the Christian Association of Nigeria, the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, and associates of the highly revered religious leader whose teaching, outreach, and good work expanded the frontiers of charitable endeavor with particular respect to the education and health sectors. The president notes the worthy contributions of Pastor Dukoya to the development of the country, supporting the weak and vulnerable while providing a platform for many to realize their dreams through the teaching of the world of faith. President Tunubu highlights the importance of the active sustenance of the outstanding legacies of the renowned clergyman by all who knew him, trusting that the Almighty God will continue to comfort, comfort their family. The president prays for repose of the soul of the departed. And that's the news of this hour. Coming up next is a repeat of um, Journalist Hangout. But let's leave you with some clips of Pastor Taiwo Dukaya's messages. Heaven will be glad to receive you. Earth will never forget. So whether in life or death, you are preaching, you are teaching, you are encouraging, you are sanctifying, you are helping people for the great beyond. I don't want to live with my auntie anymore. Take me to my grandfather. This is a cry of a 10-year-old girl on Tuesday at the Lagos Police Command. Senior correspondent Ivy Kanu has more details in this next report. And after this report, we will return with a business and sports updates. Stay with us. In a couple of minutes, the story you are about to hear will shock you. It is the story of a woman who would rather use her knees a child of about 10 to Korea drugs across Lagos. When this little girl's mother handed her over to her sister in Lagos, she had no inkling of what her sister, Taya Abbas, was capable of. Every morning, this 10-year-old takes her bath, unaware of what her auntie's intentions were. She would dress her up and use her as a courier for illicit drug known as Colorado. It's not the first pint that I'll put it inside. I'll first wear pint, I'll now hold it, I'll now wear the tight, I'll now put it inside. Somebody took me to police. So then now, in the morning when I want to bath, so then I saw it in my body. I was not arrested. I went to the police station myself because I was looking for her. I planted the drug on her body. She's not involved in the sale of the drug, but helps to move it to my shop. The child will be handed over to her family as contacts have been made. From there, police moved to the Papa Costain area of Lagos. The raid is laid by Deputy Commissioner of Police Operations of the command. They say it became necessary after a series of complaints by truck drivers and orders of extortion by touts. While some took to their heels on citing the officers, others weren't that lucky as they were not only arrested, but also had their shanties destroyed. The extortion is reported to have been going on for years and the truck drivers couldn't take it anymore. And after the raid that lasted over three hours, the police are back at the command. Now it's time to profile each of the people that has been arrested and now separate the real talks from those who claim to be either officials of Nupeng, officials of LASMA, and officials of the Nigerian Ports Authority. We have um, 31 suspects here, so investigation commences immediately because we are fully out to apprehend them and uh, make, them, make them face the law accordingly. The raid police stress will be continued across the state. Ivy, Kano. CVC News, Lagos.